Simon from Warm Glass. I just want to talk to you today about bubbles. Uh, it's a big problem for a lot of people, but sometimes it can be used to be a benefit in a, in a project. So, first thing to know is that there's two types of bubbles. There's ones that get trapped between two layers, and there's ones that come up from underneath uh, the glass uh, from the shelf. So first I'm going to talk about the bubbles that are trapped between two layers. A couple of things that cause that. Usually, you'll find things like if there's thin fire paper between the layers of glass, then it can trap air like this. If there is frit in, the, in between the two layers of glass, then it can trap air as well. Uh, this example shows glue uh, between layers of glass uh, and that comes as a distinct uh, blackness inside the bubble. So to avoid bubbles, you want to use a bubble squeeze in your firing schedule and the firing schedules in the information below will give you uh, a good bubble squeeze uh, that will work for most projects. Some projects, however, you want to try to keep the bubbles in. So in a project like this, um, the bubbles have been caused by using horizontally opposed uh, reed glass and that's where, where each section crosses a bubble is trapped and uh, that bubble uh, forms that grid pattern. You can also trap bubbles by using frit uh, inside pieces. So you can put pieces in like this and it will trap bubbles. Or also uh, that works with stringers as well, that where the stringers cross over, it will trap a bubble. You can put bubbles in between layers using frit. This is dichroic frit and uh, that's trapping the bubbles and that's a deliberate effect uh, that we're getting there. Those are the types of bubbles that are trapped between layers, controllable through uh, the use of a bubble squeeze or enhanced by not using a bubble squeeze. There's a different type of bubble which is, which is much, much worse and very much more difficult to sort out. And that is a bubble that comes up through the shelf. It's caused by moisture right in the middle of the shelf, boiling at high temperatures. And what you want to do is avoid kiln shelves that have got a, a rounded edge like this because those are molded shelves and around about November to February uh, when there's a lot of moisture in the air in the UK you'll find that the moisture gets into the shelf and then at high temperatures the moisture comes out and it forces steam up through the glass at about 800 degrees and it blows a big bubble about the size of a golf ball in your piece of glass so uh, try to avoid molded shelves or keep your shelf dry. Um, shelves that are ground, like this one, which have got sharp edges on, those are the shelves that are best to use if you get that problem. So that's everything we know about bubbles. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching.